Good morning, everyone. My name is Henry Hypponen and I will be the moderator of this press conference today. And I'd like to welcome the international and local media here in Helsinki Clarion Hotel and also uh, extend that welcome to international media joining the webcast of this live pref press conference. And of course the fans here and in the webcast. It, it's fantastic to have the fans here from Finland, Germany, Switzerland, Russia and Austria. Welcome everyone. Uh, during the next 15 minutes, Sunrise Avenue will be making a couple of announcements and also the band will be performing live. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is time to welcome Sunrise Avenue. Let's start with the water tricks. Yeah, who arranged this table here? Yeah. Samu Harper, uh, there has been a lot of excitement and anxiety in social media about this event. I think it's time to let everyone off the hook. Why are we here today? So first of all, thank you everybody for joining us on this important and beautiful December morning in our hometown Helsinki. Um, I have been in tricky and strange places with a microphone before, but uh, I have to say this morning goes to the top, no question. We have decided together with the guys to quit. Yes, this is uh, a very big uh, decision, of course, and uh, the magnitude is something we don't even understand ourselves, probably. It's nothing that um, started uh, feeling inside here like a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago. It's been there for a really long time. And for some time you can push it back, of course, and say like this is just a tough month or this is just a tough weekend or this is just a tough trip. But at some point it uh, grows and you still fight back, but then it grows more. And then at some point you just have to realize there's nothing you can do about it. I fully understand that uh, looking at this from, I'm not saying the outside, but from a little distance, it's probably impossible to understand everything behind this uh, step we're taking. And uh, no matter how beautiful and perfect and amazing it is still and has been, I think no matter how much I explain here, uh, you will never fully understand the reasons. I know. Um, I am beyond proud of us. Um, I'm more than thankful I can never express and we can never express how lucky and thankful we, uh, we are uh, to you guys and everybody in our team, in the teams uh, everywhere. Um, but what I'm most proud of is for the fact that we are again on this very difficult day here together with the guys like we've always been and um, even though we are approaching the final steps of the band it doesn't mean that we won't go on as friends and that we will be for life, as you all probably know already. Like I said, it was a long process um, uh, getting towards this moment. And then uh, we spoke about it many times and um, I'm sure the guys sometimes hope that maybe this is something that will go away and there'll be like a brighter morning someday. But finally I invited everybody uh, to my place in August this year, and we sat around 
uh, my kitchen table and um, that's when we all realized uh, what's going to happen. Uh, we are scared and confused and we don't know what the future will be like after we take the last steps, but um, I must also say there's a big relief inside all of us and especially me. Um, yeah, letting go of something very beautiful here together with you and uh, um, yeah. But then I asked the guys, okay, how should we do it? Should we uh, hug each other and send greetings to the best fans in the world who have been with us standing in the rain, sleeping in sleeping bags <laughs> in a city you, you don't know even the names where you've been. I mean, sometimes you don't know the country where you're in. And I asked the boys, um, should we go out one more time and rock the house? Yes. <laughs> you know, that's exactly what they said. <laughs> they were probably a bit faster. So all of them, um, without any hesitation, sitting there very emotional, staring at the table, uh, said yes, yeah, in less than a second. So uh, we are also announcing today our final tour. And this is, um, it could be many different endings to a story like this. And uh, we have like, I don't know how many Platinum or Gold Awards or how many great hugs we, ha we had with you guys or how many nights we sang so loud that they had to you know, cover the ears of babies in the next cities, but uh, <laughs> I'm most proud in my whole life for the fact that we're here together today and that we're going to go out for one more time. And of course, we are hoping that uh, some of you and some of you online would join us, but um, we don't know what to expect, how it's going to be on stage. It might be emotional to say, bye-bye Hollywood Hills for the last time, but uh, we are doing everything in our power with our teams and together with you to make it uh, as beautiful as this uh, story deserves. So thank you. Samuel, how do you feel about the reaction here? I mean, we can see people crying here and then there was a lot of excitement also uh, uh, concerning the tour. How do you feel about this? Well, honestly, we've seen uh, a couple of different moments on stage with these. I've seen those eyes before. And um, we don't know what to expect, really. But uh, um, I don't know. It's going to be very strange, but... Um, what we know is that all of these people and a lot of those people online, they know the words and if something happens and we can't, you will, like you always did. Today the band is announcing three last things. Uh, and the first last thing is a song. Thank you for everything. Uh, who did you have in your mind when you were writing that song? Uh, it's a long list if I start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, name the names. <laughs> alphabetically. Um, no, it was a strange moment in Stockholm. We were there with uh, our friends Victor and Maria, uh, who we wrote and produced uh, the last Sunrise Avenue album, Heartbreak Century. And it was like a couple of days of work behind, and then it was the last day of writing, and nothing felt right. And then I just said, like, okay, should we write today the last song of Sunrise Avenue? And of course, they knew about my feelings and what's going on, but they were a bit like, serious and it came out in like in an hour it was like meant to happen and on that moment probably in april this year uh, i really felt it safe and strong inside that um uh it's meant to be but with this song we with these amazing guys uh are trying to say 
a bit of the gratitude and thankfulness and everything we got from you through these years. Uh, I and we have a feeling it's all there in the lyrics. So, yeah, music is the best way of, you know, saying things and hopefully we succeed in that with the last one too. The second last thing is the video that will be out today. And there were a lot of emotional clips on the video. How, how did you feel looking at your history uh, with the band in the video? Well, it was a great idea. Thank you, Juho, first of all, uh, for the idea. Um, of course, you understand that anyways, going through these years and uh, these amazing moments we've had with you, uh, it's been like, uh, like reading your whole life biography in a way. But uh, I'm still super happy for the fact that it was very emotional, of course, looking at the old music videos and the old interviews and the old whatever. But probably after feeling weird for six seconds, somebody broke a joke in the room and everybody's laughing at almost something stupid and then Rico is like climbing on somebody's back and everybody's like playing like little kids. So, and the whole thing, like rehearsing for the summer next year, uh, the music video and everything, it has still been, even though there's quite heavy emotions, it's been, of course, dark and sad, but the fun has never ended. And that's what is amazing to me. The third last thing is the tour, as you mentioned before. Uh, it is expanding seven dates in four countries, Germany, Switzerland, Austria and Finland. Uh, you said that you don't know what to expect, but, but you must have some expectations about what's going to happen during that tour. Uh, I don't know. What do you hope for? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hope that the, I mean, when the last day here at the beautiful, new, renewed uh, Helsinki Olympic Stadium yes. is gonna be over, I don't want to think about, or we don't want to think about the time after that. Either it's gonna be like, I don't know, a swimming, pool, a swimming pool full of champagne or just going home to watch Netflix and feeling weird, but probably the first one. But. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Now that we've been rehearsing the songs, uh, it's funny how actually most of our lyrics are about feeling sad and, uh, and it's even the, like I mentioned, the Hollywood song already. And it's like why in every song there is something like this is the end. And it's, it's, been, it's been really, really strange and emotional uh, preparing the show for you guys and we're still working on it. But um, I'd probably say that it's better not to expect anything because uh, it can be whatever. So, um, but I, I know it's going to be beautiful. The tour kicks off from Germany, uh, June 4th, Leipzig Arena. And the last time we see the band together will be at Helsinki Olympic Stadium <laughs> on August 15th. I didn't know it was that important date, but <laughs> August 15, it is. <laughs> One last question, Samu. Uh, you're standing on the stage at Helsinki Olympic Stadium just before the last song. What goes through your mind? I have a very good therapist and uh, I'm gonna go, <laughs> go through this. I don't know. I've been actually thinking about it and the deeper I go, uh, the faster I want to get away from that thought because honestly now is the time to think about um, how we build everything like uh, you know for the summer and uh, the thoughts are we try to keep the thoughts more on the let's have fun and let's be creative and let's uh, give these people and those people and ourselves uh, the nights that we deserve um, but I don't want to think about it. It's going to be probably afterwards in a, in Finland, we have this gay nutuali thing, you know, this, do you know what it is? Rocking chair. Rocking chair. So someday we're all going to be sitting in a gay nutuali and uh, um, probably that's going to be one of the moments and nights that we'll never forget. 
We will now let Samu to join the band and after a short video in a minute we will hear a live performance of the last song of Sunrise Avenue and the song will be called Thank You for Everything. Thanks. This is the end of the fairy tale we're holding in our hands. This is the end. I'm saying the words, cause I'm longing to be free, although it hurts. I'm saying the words. Take a look over paradise one last time But I trust there's another one coming around This is the end, the end, the end, the end, the end When a heart burns out, the new one shall come in This is the end, the end When the lights go out, the new 
last time But I trust there's another one coming around for everything Thank you guys. Thanks again.